All right, you guys. Mr. Red Logan here. Sorry for the delay. Um, I fell asleep again. That, besides the point. Okay, right now, um, in this video, I'll be going over blocks and um, how to make one, and we'll be starting making one from scratch. So, let's go ahead and go over to our root directory. Now, first of all, what you're gonna need before you make a block is the picture of the block, and I do have it right here. It's called All-in-One Block. I so just love my artwork, made it myself. And um, the, the YAML file, which will be the block's configuration, will also have to be the same name. However, this one would be a JIC or a PNG image. This would be a YML image or a file. So let's go and open up, and we'll start right from scratch. First, what we're going to need is the type of block. Come on, there we go. And we'll see your block or item, and we're making a block. And the title which will be what it appears in game and we'll call it yeah, make sure all in one there we go very simple now let's go ahead and look at our options to see what we got here we do l click and r click so i'm just going to do l click here all right now um here you can do a couple of things with the materials material actions right down here you can do uh sounds Commands, consume, health, hunger, air, experience, work, and give. I'll be going over all of this. So let's go ahead and just do a basic command right there. So we we'll do command and we'll do the slash and we'll say you left clicked. There we go. And we'll do the same for right click, but we'll say you did right click. I'm sorry about my typing, I just woke up. Very easy. So I'll click and I'll click. Let's see, what else do we have? Consume. I'll go over the train items actually. Okay. Now here's what we can do is the brightness of the block. This is the texture brightness, not what the light level it will give off is. So brightness. And let's give it brightness to 10. It would look pretty bright. Next is transparency, whether the empty spots of the block are transparent or not. This will be used for making glass, colored glass, and so on. Um, hardness and friction, we can go ahead and change that. So hardness is how hard it is to break, such as I think 20 is equivalent to obsidian. I'm not too sure, that's just a guesstimate. And friction, we're going to set that to 1, so it would be uh, slippery like ice, well, not 10. Okay, the light level and walk speed. Now, light level is what light it is giving off, such as glowstone. Glowstone gives off a light level of 15, so go ahead and give it a light level of 15. And the walk speed. This is, when you're on top of the block, how fast you'll be walking. So go ahead and give it a 2, which means you'll be walking twice as fast as what you normally be walking. Okay, jump height and fall damage. Um, jump height is simply how is it, is it a multiplier? I'm not sure if it's a multiplier, but we'll just set it as 10. I know that's enough to kill you. And fall damage is um, the multiplier that fall damage is decreased. So if I do two, you take two times less fall damage than what you normally would have. Um, step sound. I couldn't kind of figure out how to get that one to work, and redstone transformation, that was for another plugin, I think, that was uh, looking into that. And let's see, can I give any of these here? Here, we'll go over, uh, give me some experience while we're at it, too. I'm going to do that on the right click. Experience. And it'll give me 50 experience every time I right click the block here. So, after that's done, I think that's uh, basically all of it. Just let me double check. Yeah, it does look like all of that there. So, now let's go ahead and go in game. Uh, make sure you do have your. Uh, we got to update the directory first. Um, these are the SMP files. Uh, I don't think I went over them or not in the installation. So, it's really actually easy to make one. Um, 
I'm really like OCD when it comes to folders and files on my computer. So uh, I named them all different. And if you want to, you come with the default one. If you want to just you can copy it and paste it multiple times, rename it, and then edit it as you need to. Oops, now I got a, I got a bunch of extra ones down. There we go. So let's go into our blocks folder. Close that out. Delete that because that was a pre made one. I'm going to put you right in there. So now let's go ahead and boot up the server. All the way back. Make sure we're starting error free. As you can tell, it did load all the SMP files, items, food, default, and blocks. All right, here we go. Now, now, now that we're in game, um, let's go and see if we can find our all-in-one block, which is right here. Get ourselves a stack of it. As you can tell, it looks very fancy. See, I did affect. Oops, I started giving me the different things. And seeing as I did affect the light, the light level of the block itself, it, it does give a little shadow. It's a little bit weird. If I change the nighttime, you'll see that it's very bright over here because all the light level that's getting off. Now it comes to friction, as you can tell, I'm sliding. I'm not moving at all. And as for walk speed, I should be able to zoom across it. So you can tell I started moving twice as fast. And as for jumping, um, so God mode first. Ooh. And see what happens when I jump. Oop. As you can tell, it's a uh, it's a very high jump there. Hello, Mr. Enderman. Again, think you can catch up with me up here? Yeah, probably not. And uh, well, as for the left click and right click, I left click it. it says you left clicked. Right click it. That's how I always think I right click, and it's giving me an experience that I told it to. So I can just hold this down, and it would eventually spam, spam out. As you can tell right here, just sort of spam a little bit. But uh, that should be the basics. I uh, went over everything right there. And uh, yeah, that's blocks. I'll start on items right now. Thank you for watching.